Let's talk about the fate of the Kylo Ren lightsaber. Now, if you haven't seen Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker yet and you don't want to hear spoilers, please turn to something else because we're going to talk about some of the, the key plot points in The Rise of Skywalker. All right, now if you're still here, let's dive right into it. Well, what happens to the Kylo Ren lightsaber? So this is arguably one of the biggest symbols of the sequel trilogy. It has this kind of distinctive cross guard design and the unstable blades that mirror Kylo Ren's personality. So he's very unstable in the sense that he's angry and kind of throws these temper tantrums. He's all also kind of unstable in the fact that he's wavering in his dedication to the dark side, right? There's this constant threat throughout the trilogy that he will return to the light side of the force. And so it's a really neat lightsaber, very different from a lot of other lightsabers that we've seen. And it has that kind of ancient medieval feel as well due to the cross guard design. So we've seen this in the entire trilogy. We've seen it from The Force Awakens all the way up to The Rise of Skywalker. And what happens to this lightsaber, okay? So, so many things could have happened to it, but what happened to it is Kylo Ren, well, Kylo Ren, who has become Ben Solo again, he rejects the dark side and he just tosses this lightsaber as far as he can into the water. And it's presumably his rejection of the dark side of the force and his return to the light side of the force, or at least symbolic of that occurring. Now, it's kind of funny, in the previous movie, we had another lightsaber toss. We had the infamous Luke Skywalker lightsaber toss that some fans didn't like. So Ray, you know, hands the, hands the Skywalker lightsaber back to Luke. You know, it was his first lightsaber. And he takes a look at it for a second and then tosses it over his shoulder. And in that case, you know, that toss was also a rejection of, um, you know, being a Jedi in that case. So it is interesting to see lightsabers tossed like that and rejected. Um, that's very common throughout the, the Star Wars movies, actually, you know, sometimes in more subtle ways, sometimes in more kind of prominent ways, as is the case with the Kylo Ren lightsaber tossing. But what did you guys think about this? I, I liked that moment in the movie. I was kind of rooting for it. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. And that's, that's a very certain thing. You know, he's definitely kind of given up on the dark side if he's doing that because that lightsaber is so intertwined with his character. And whether you're a Jedi or Sith in Star Wars, your lightsaber is your life, right? So that's a very clear, very concrete rejection of the dark side of the Force. And it's also interesting what follows. So he ends up using a blaster after he chucks his lightsaber. So, you know, he's going to help out Rey and... Um, you know, he fights off some people with a blaster, which is sort of a throwback to his roots, you know, as being uh, Han Solo's son and, well, Leia's son also. But, you know, we think of Han Solo with a blaster, right? And so it's kind of neat to see uh, Ben Solo use one as well. And ultimately, you know, Ray teleports, force teleports the Graflix lightsaber, the Skywalker lightsaber over to Ben Solo. And, um, you know, he uses that uh, against some of the um, some of the, his opponents. So uh, that, that's also an interesting moment because just in the previous movie, they would both fought over this lightsaber, right? And they they literally split it into two pieces. And now, you know, they're working together again. She sends it over to him. And even in The Force Awakens, they're fighting over that lightsaber because they're both reaching for it with the Force. And uh, Rey is the one who's able to call it to her. Kylo Ren is not able to. So um, it's kind of symbolic as well. So not only has he abandoned his lightsaber, he's gotten to the point where, you know, Rey kind of trusts him enough again, I suppose, uh, teleports this, this lightsaber, force teleports the Graflix lightsaber, the Skywalker lightsaber over for him to use. Now, that's kind of an interesting switch, and it's neat to see him using a blue-bladed lightsaber again, too, especially since his original lightsaber was blue-bladed. So um, it's kind of a throwback to, uh, well, we see that 
flashback in the previous movie in The Last Jedi. And um, it kind of feels like we're seeing Ben Solo again simply because he's wielding a blue-bladed lightsaber. So what did you guys think about the end of the Kylo Ren lightsaber in um, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? I liked it, and I liked all of the different lightsabery moments that followed um, because of that. And, you know, in Star Wars, though, I do have to bring up, lightsabers aren't necessarily ever really gone, right? Um, so it looked like the Skywalker lightsaber was destroyed in the last movie. It came back. It was essentially bandaged in the middle, right? The Kylo Ren lightsaber was chucked into the water somewhere, but that doesn't mean somebody can't recover it. So it's always possible we can see it again someday. But at least at the moment, it looks gone kind of for now. Um, so, yeah, feel free to comment below what do you think about the end of the Kylo Ren lightsaber.